Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be me um, trying out and just giving my initial thoughts, like my first impressions on the Karuchi and ColourPop collection. It's called the Femme Rosa collection and this is their second round that they've done. The, um, from the first round that they did, her first collection, I believe it was uh, called K-Pop. I only got one liquid lipstick from that because that was when I first kind of discovered ColourPop. It was a color Chi and oh, gosh, that color was so pretty. And it was really the only ColourPop a matte liquid lipstick that worked on my lips. I really don't like their matte liquid lipstick. I like the satin formula better. If you don't know who Karuchi is, and we can Google her if you want to, but basically she is an actress and a model, and she is ex very, very beautiful. <laughs> She's so extremely gorgeous. Um, so, so her collection includes one eyeshadow palette, a face palette which is a blush bronzer highlighter and for the ultra satin lippies and the lip glosses so this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like it's not very big the eyeshadows are not full-sized eyeshadows but it's only $16 and for the whole collection I paid $40 which that's pretty good <laughs> that's a that's a really good price which is why I didn't feel bad uh, spending my money on it because I'm getting I'm getting multiple items for only $40 Okay, so this is the face palette, the Lassie Highlighter, Mistress Blush, and Dame, ooh, and Dame Bronzer. Here's the Ultra Glossy Lip. It's a kind of like a bronze glittery shade. This Ultra Satin Lip is Darling. It looks like it's like a nice maroon plum shade. The last lip color I am the most excited about, of course, it is a like a nude coral peach shade it's uh, the shade name is Mrs. and you can see right here on the packaging and maybe you can or can't I don't know it has like a rose gold flower printed on the tube okay so there are the three shades here's what the inside of the eyeshadow palette looks like um, the bottom four are matte the middle shades are metallic and all of these except for this shade are metallic that one is a satin shade but it still looks shimmery to me so I don't know. I'm also a big fan of the color selection. These two middle shades actually look kind of duochrome, so we'll see how those work out. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can get started with the eyes. Um, first, I'm just gonna prime my. Oh, I've already done my eyebrows, clearly. <laughs> so I'm just gonna prime my eyes with the Maybelline Age Rewind. I like to start off with a lighter base on my eyes. That way the eyeshadows can stand or can pop a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the shade Duchess. Duchess, which is this matte shade. Oof. Okay. Um, they have a lot of kickback. If it's pigmented, then oh well, all you got to do is just tap it off. I'm just going to start this out in the outer corner. I was thinking that this color wasn't going to show up that much. I thought it'd be more sheer, but it is definitely there. She is here. And accounted for. Now I'm going to go with the shade Deer here on the inner part. See if, let's see if I can see a difference. Um, yeah. Okay, you can definitely tell the difference between the two eyeshadows. Inner corner I have Deer, outer corner Duchess. Okay, next I'm going to take the shade Damsel, which is the... This red plum shade, this burgundy shade, and I'm just gonna start putting that here on the outside. Oh, that's pretty. That is very, very, very pretty. Okay, so what I've done so far is I took the shades Damsel and Missy, which are the two deepest shades, and I just kind of mixed them together and created somewhat of a halo eye with a, uh, a, a smaller blending brush. It's looking good. And I really want to use one of these duochrome type shades. I might, I think I'll do a, I'm gonna do a halo eye. I do have some fallout, which is expected because, I mean, it's eyeshadow, you know, whatever. And I didn't know, I didn't tap off the brush for the excess every time. So I do have some fallout, just a little bit. Um, but other than that, the colors are not just blending into each other and going gray. 
the pigment is definitely being accounted for here. It's looking good. I take the shade Gal, which is this metallic purple. And this is one of the shades that I, that looks kind of dual chrome to me. So hopefully it is. Okay, so here's what the final look that I did looks like. I did a basic halo eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye and then get started on my face. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and then get started on my face. That way we can test out the face palette. Okay, so now that I'm finished with my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and move on. I've done my foundation. I haven't added any blush, highlight, contour, nothing like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the face palette and I'm gonna use the bronze shade, which is the shade Dame. And it is a little bit more cool tone. So I guess depending on the undertone of your skin, it'll determine whether it's a bronzer or a contour shade. But for me personally, it'll be a contour shade. Hmm, that's, that's so weird, okay. In the pan, it looks cool toned, but on my face, it's actually pretty warm. Now I'm gonna take the blush shade, which is Mistress. I like the blush shade. I'm very cute. The highlight shade is definitely not gonna work for me. It's like a deep yellow gold, which definitely gonna be way too dark for me. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try to go there. With that being said, for highlights, I'm gonna go into my Nicole Glow Kit and I'm gonna take the shade, hmm, I'm gonna take the shade Kitty Cat. I'm gonna try on the lip gloss first. I'm a fan. Um, would I actually put this over a nude matte liquid lipstick? I would probably do that as opposed to wearing it alone. But even alone, I think it looks really pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna go in shade Misses, which is an ultra satin lip. Here's the ultra satin lip in the shade Misses. It's, okay, I said it was a nude coral. Definitely not a nude on me. If you've never tried ColourPop's Ultra Satin Lips, you definitely should try them. Uh, they're not transfer proof, but they still look matte. They're just way more comfortable than their ultra mattes. Let me tell you, I probably purchased at least 15 different matte liquid matte lipsticks from ColourPop and none of the colors have worked for me they are they were all so crusty dusty musty like they did not work on my lips whatsoever like oh they were just so thick she thick whenever they would dry down my lips would feel tight from how thick they were and then right when I smiled or moved my mouth they would crack and then, you know, usually when I have a dry lipstick on, I put some gloss over it to save it. But even whenever I would put gloss over the lipstick, it would like make it crumble up together and then it would start bleeding and it was a mess. So now this one is Darling, which is the deepest shade. Um, I feel like ColourPop has a lot of colors that are similar to this one. This shade is definitely my favorite. Collection is limited edition. Honestly, I don't really think you need to buy it unless you love collecting makeup like I do. <laughs> and you like limited edition stuff or stuff with like cute packaging or you like to put stuff on display, you know, then yeah, sure, buy it. If you don't want the whole collection, just pick and choose whatever you want. They have the bundle with everything and they sell everything separately. So, you know, that's up to you. I really loved how the look turned out. ColourPop eyeshadows, I was not surprised with how they performed. They did pretty. They're good, they're good eyeshadows. It's The eyeshadow palette's only $16. Um, what else? The bronzer is uh, warmer than what you would think it is. In the pan, it looks more cool toned, but on your face, it does, it is, it is a warm bronzer. If you stuck around to the end of this video, if you bought so many items from this collection that they would give you a free lip gloss, and I did receive that free lip gloss. It's the, almost the same as the Contessa lip gloss, but this one's in the shade Polished, and it is a deeper bronze. I'm not gonna open it. Um, it's still in the packaging. It's a little, the packaging's a little janked up. 
but it's still in the packaging and I'm actually gonna give this away to one of my subscribers. I know it's not a lot and it's not like this huge deal, it's just a lip gloss, but you know, I figured why not. So to enter, I'm gonna have a link down in the description box and it'll just be a Google form that you have to fill out. That's, that's the easiest way for me to do it. So yeah, just make sure you like this video, share it, comment what you think about the collection if you think you're gonna buy it. Um, don't forget to check out my Instagram and my Twitter, which will be right here. Um, yeah, but everything is going to be linked down below. And like I said, don't forget about the giveaway if you want to win this lip gloss. The giveaway will be open for one week. So one week from the day that this video is posted, I will choose the winner. And I'll email you if you want, so that way you can give me the rest of your contact information. I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll be seeing you in my next one.